Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode with Lotus Operations and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you a little trick on how you can make some survival discs as I call them out of just plain sawdust, candle wax, and the basic kindling materials around you. Hello everybody, welcome back. With the survival disc, before I actually start the video showing you how it is completed and done, I will let you know that you can actually buy these type of disc at Walmart, but you're going to be paying a little bit over $2 per disc. With this video, I'm going to actually show you how you can make multiple discs for just under a dollar. Hello everybody and welcome back to Lotus Operations and as you can see here we have our supplies we are going to utilize to make our disc. Our disc are going to be three inches in diameter by a half inch thick and we are going to be using candles, sawdust, fine sawdust and we are going to be utilizing this to melt the candle down and be able to make our disc so we can be able to have another form to be able to light your fires but this form will be waterproof compared to the fire bricks that I taught you earlier so let's begin the, the process as I mentioned with the fire bricks when I did the fire brick video with these you do not want to create these on the spot but the advantage of these in case you do need to create it on the spot you don't have to wait uh, for uh, it to it to fully dry and to be done it will be done within the day so these you can create on the spot if you want to but I recommend and I personally recommend this is still create these and pretend like you need these now even though you don't so whenever the time comes you do not have to gather the supplies to make them so let's begin the process of making this uh, so okay everybody as you can see here we have all the supplies we need to be able to make our little disc. And what we're going to do is first thing we're going to do, we're going to get our fire going. So we can start getting it burning. Then what you want to do is you want to get ready to start melting your candle down. Now your candle, you can just toss it in and melt it. But I'm going to take and cut the candle into sections here to create a smaller environment. Basically going to shaving this down. Just chipping it off, sections that I need, so it makes it a little bit easier. I had to grab a dull knife. And then you're going to be putting your chips into here, so it will be faster on melting it. Now, if you want to do the whole entire candle, if you're making a crap ton at once, you can do the entire candle at once. But me, I'm only making one right now. Thank you. 
Hello everybody and welcome back to Lotus Operations and here we are after we finished pouring our wax we now have our little disc that is basically a solid disc of wax mixed with um, sawdust but see at the point as you can see I can still put my fingerprints in there so I'm going to let it cure a little bit longer but once it fully gets cured we are going to be able to pop it out of the mold and then we're going to light up to see exactly how effective it is or if I have to go back to the drawing board to see if I need to remake this again. So here we go. We're going to let it finish curing and then we are going to attempt to light it. And as it cools down, you will start noticing cracks appearing around the edges of it. As the wax dries, it will lift away from the mold, making it easier to retract out of the mold. I decided while it was still wet to put a candle wick in there so we would be able to light it easier and have some fun but we're going to do this a traditional way like we would if we had flint and steel so let's head outside to the fire pit and we're going to see exactly how well this works. here we are and as you can see when your mold is good and dry you will be able to take it out with no problem you just pop it on out push it on through the bottom and boom and this my fellow friends is what your little bricks are going to look like. Now I decided, like I said, I decided to add a wax, a wick, just so it can add to it since it was still wet. But you're not going to make them all with wicks. You're just going to put whatever materials is in there to be able to do this. So now what we're going to do is you put your kindling on top of your brick here. And let's see exactly how well this works. So we are going to set this up inside all the ash. And we are going to light this on fire and I, I'm treating this all as if I was in a survival situation and as you can see you would take your kindling you would put it on top of your wax thing and if everything works well it would melt the wax and then it would start lighting everything on fire. 